how much money can you make off of one tank of gas delivering food for DoorDash? That's the question that we're going to be asking and answering in today's episode. We're going to be starting at 6.30 a.m. and we're going to see how much money we make until we have to fill up again. Now let's get into day number one. So it is 6.45 in the morning. We are starting that dash, you guys. Let's go. Let's go. We got our first two orders on the screen right now. Double order. They're both in the same direction. I'm going to drop off this Uber Eats order real quick and then head over to that CVS and do that Instacart. And we got this order done in 2 minutes and 18 seconds, you guys. World record. Off to a good start, we get this $19.89 for 10.7 mile delivery from Walmart, heading to Boston, where the big orders are. Let's go! $10 tip, add that to the total. Next order is a CVS $21.53, one mile, only four items. And this guy's got allergies. Then we get another shop and pay $26.72 for 4.6 miles going to this Star Market Pharmacy that's right next to TD Gardens, the basketball court for the Boston Celtics. We had to find parking that was 5 minute drop off only, rush inside as fast as we can, less than 5 minutes grabbing the items, heading back to our parking spot without getting towed, we're too fast! Chick-fil-A, $13.45 for 5.6 miles. We'll take that any day. So after driving around downtown Boston a little bit and having to deal with the traffic, difficult parking to get to restaurants, difficult parking to get to the customer, I decided that I'm actually gonna go back down to the suburbs of Boston where it's easier to drive. So we just got this order right now. It brings us back down to the area that we want to be in. It's another shop and pay order. Let's go do it. And right now it is almost 11 o'clock in the morning and we are well above $100. So we are off to a good start. All right, so I came down here to avoid being in the city, but now we are in the ghetto. Our situation has not improved. We are now in Dorchester, which is not the place that you want to be in. The violent crime rate here is 93% higher than the national average. I mean, check out this website called spotcrime.com, which reports local incidents in the area. Here we have a couple shootings, and this is yesterday, actually. It's September 1st when I'm recording this, and there's a bunch of shootings from August 31st, which is yesterday. So, look right here. It says shooting, stabbing, victim shot twice in the leg, tourniquet applied, two males on a scooter fled. Hmm. Assault everywhere down this road. Blue Hill Avenue. I wouldn't go here. Compared to Plymouth, which is an area closer to Cape Cod, and this is from the last 12 months. I don't know. What do you think of North Dorchester area, Dashy? I love it here. How? It's only 10 minutes away from the zoo. Give me your wallet. Oh no. Dashy got robbed on his way to the zoo. <laughs> so we're taking this order is bringing us out of this area. Next time, for future references, I'm definitely going to stay away from the 10 mile radius of this place. Just drop that one order off. I get this Dunkin Donuts order that's actually pretty good. $14 for 2.3 miles. That's really good and it's actually bringing me to the nice rich area. We made it out of the death zone. Alright, so we just got $9.42 for 1.5 miles, solid order, and we completed the first quest for our Uber Eats, earning us an extra $4. This order was definitely the longest wait of the day. I had to wait around 15 to 20 minutes for the food, but luckily they gave me some free water, so that was nice. But while we are in the restaurant, we ended up getting this double order, Jersey Mac and Subs, $10.80 for 3.7 miles, pretty good. All right, so we got 45 minutes to do two more orders to get an extra seven bucks. So I got this order, I thought it'd be nice, I could get it done really fast, but I ended up taking 15 minutes. And the drive took longer than expected because of some traffic, so we failed our mission. So that Taco Bell ended up taking forever and made me fail my mission. Not good. We got screwed out of that seven bucks. It's two o'clock p.m. right now. It's a bit of a slow period. We're not really getting anything good. We'll let you know when we do. And we got tip baited, which means the customer removed the tip for no good reason after the delivery. So this order really screwed me up. 30 minutes for $2.91. 
Hi right there, I got a, a door or Uber Eats for Anthony. You have to go inside for Uber Eats. Inside? Yep, yep, come inside. All right, so we just dropped off this Uber Eats order to the man in the booth at this gas station, and we are stuck. It's BJ's gas station, so it's kind of like a Costco gas station, and there's like no way out. So we just picked up this order. We got a double order right now, Uber Eats. Not too bad, around 14 bucks for six miles. But I did have to park pretty far away from the restaurant, so that's not too good, but we're continuing on. All right, so we just got this double order McDonald's. It's from Grubhub and DoorDash. They're going to the same restaurant. So Grubhub orders in the opposite direction, but it's only by like a half a mile, so it should be fine. And as you can see, we're around $200 and we still got plenty of gas left. All right, so we ended up taking a little break from around 3 to 5 p.m. We are back out now. It is 5.30. We have another Uber Eats opportunity right here that we're going to try to knock out. We're kind of late, 26 minutes late. We're starting a first order from Uber Eats, meaning that we got to get, we got to do about 12 orders in four hours. So three orders per hour. If I can knock this double order out, I can get two done for the first hour, but we're gonna have to pick up the pace after that. Hopefully I can get this because this is over $20 extra that we could earn. Let's go to this pizza restaurant and pick the first order up. And we got this Instacart, so we're doing a triple order today from the mall. An Instacart and a double order from Uber Eats. All right, so we picked up that Uber Eats order. We went back to the store, grabbed the Instacart order. Now we're gonna grab the other half of the double order, which is the Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings is like a three minute walk from here. And as you can see, these two orders are dropping off in the same direction. All right, so we got this order right here. It's, it's about 15 minutes away from where I am right now. So hopefully the food will be ready when I get there. That's one of the reasons why I took it. So we're at $274 and we're not even at a half a tank yet. We get this $13 for 1.6 miles, only two items. And then we get this order that was way better, but I didn't do it because I didn't want to cancel my Instacart. So it is 9.39 p.m. We have just ended our dash. Let's take a look at how much we made today. So on day number one, we made $338.15 and 13 hours for an hourly rate of $26 an hour. We drove 135 miles for a total of $2.50 a mile, which is why we're able to get so much money and not run out of gas yet. So we're going to have to extend this to day number two to see if we could run out of gas that day. But before we do that, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. I think you'll enjoy them. Let's go into day number two. And also... Download the Get Upside app to save cash back on gas. I've saved $45 so far and use my promo code for an extra 15 cents per gallon off on your first purchase. So we got our first order of the day. It's from DoorDash. It's actually pretty decent. Let's go pick it up. It's from a breakfast place. Breakfast places are usually pretty slow. So hopefully this one doesn't take too long. Charge phone, check. Oh, yeah. $349 and we're getting check. close to Red half a tank. Check. Oh, yeah. Hot bag on that bullshit, check. Oh, yeah. I'm good, what's up, we out. We out. Uh. All right, so we got this order right here, which is gonna help a lot with the Uber Eats promotion that we got going on. We gotta do three orders per hour in order to get the max rewards. So this is gonna help us get back on pace for that. I'm on that, hold up, where we going? Matter of fact, check that, accept that, I'ma dash that, okay. Throw that baby. Oh, that's wavy. Uh, dash, dash, dash. Uh, chill. They be asking the time. I'm checking the fur. Yeah, what's up? Where we at? We getting that money. Big money alert. They asking this question. I'm like, nah, I don't care. Where you at? Where I am? This where I'm from. Getting this money from the wop. In the falls. Getting this cash. Oh, shit. Ain't no turning. Hold back. I'ma go dash. 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 So we are at $446.19 and a half a tank. So this target order ended up being a big disaster. The first problem, we had to circle around twice, wasting 10 minutes only to find parking about three minutes away from the target. We hop in there and the carts were like missing or something, so I used this mop bucket as a cart. But look how long that line is. 10 minutes standing in line. <laughs> Yeah.
I basically ended up making the same mistakes I made yesterday. I got tired of driving the city again, so I took this order that isn't really too great, but I wanted to get back to the suburbs. It was in this little festival area. It looks like they're having some sort of celebration. Check out those guys' paintings. They look pretty cool. But we had to walk, park in a really hard spot, and find the restaurant, which is right here, Thai Basil Restaurant, in a little secret area. Drop it off for solid. And this is around South Boston. I'm, I'm still kind of tired of trying to find hard parking, so I decided to look at the map beforehand. I found this little parking lot. That's where I'm going to go. And we got this order, which is extremely good, but I didn't want to go to the ghetto again. And same thing for this order. Alright, so we just dropped off that last Grubhub order. Usually I don't do this, but I'm too far away to go home and get food. So we got some Taco Bell. I know it says KFC, but it's one of those joint ones. We got a grilled double steak burrito. Never tried this. I'll let you guys know if it's any good. I'd give this burrito a 7 out of 10. Not bad, but it needs more sauce. Alright, so we just got this double order from CBS. Double stacking it with Uber Eats and Instacart. That's how you make that money. Let's go pick it up. We gotta do two separate checkouts. Who orders something like Bobo's Lemon Poppy Seed Oat Bar? That can't taste good. Yeah, so we just got here. We're trying to drop off this order. This place looks kind of creepy, I mean. There's some clowns gonna jump out of there. We're about to drop her off. If you're watching it, I mean, I survived. So let's go do it. And now at $582.76, we're close to empty. So we're looking through Instacart, not really anything good. We got a DoorDash, let's go see what it is. $20 for 11.3 miles. Hmm, not bad, but we got a pretty far drop off. We could probably unassign that one. We got a Grubhub order, let's see if that's any better. $8.21 for 5.8 miles, nothing special. Decline that one. I think we're gonna accept this and unassign that far order and just do that one, click one. Alright, so I got this DoorDash order right here. I ended up unassigning the one that was far away and just doing the one that was nearby because it's 10 bucks for two miles. Now let's go drop it off. $21.46 for 7.1 miles, solid order. Definitely accepting that. Double pizza time. Burger again. Hi there, I got a pickup for Paul. Uber Paul? Eats. Yep, Uber Eats. Okay, yeah, well, thank you. Up. So we are currently at $654.27 and we have 38 miles left. So we're going to have to extend this into the morning of day number three. And today we did a little bit better. We made $30.07 an hour, $307 in 10 hours. Now let's get into the final day. So we were able to knock out five orders with the remaining 38 miles and we made $60.43 in two hours before we finally had to fill up again. So we ended up averaging $705.70 per tank when we drive a 22 Toyota Corolla with a 31 to 40 miles per gallon and it cost us $39.80 to fill up so that means our gas expense is only 5.5% which is honestly extremely good. I'm able to keep my gas expense low because I only accept orders with extremely high dollar per mile and I multi-app. Instacart is a huge help with this because you end up driving less and spending more time shopping rather than driving. So hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what kind of mileage you get on your vehicle and how much you make per tank and we'll see you in the next one.